at the top left position, as playing as the not flash yellow terror, and we do have Cryoc. Then down in the bottom right position, we do have SCC's Faust. And uh, I'm not I'm not so much saying that it's only because Flash was a Terran player, but realistically, when you're looking at the when you're looking at all the players, you've got to take into account that some games will be recorded in like the round of 64 or something of a tournament, where you'll have Flash beating on some poor like 12 year old kid who's just left school to come play in the qualifiers. Well, I mean, Jadon. Yeah. What, what about Jadon beating on like little Terran kids? I mean, isn't that the same thing? It is. Yeah, of course it is. So, like, surely you can't really make that argument unless you want to study, like, every single uh, actual game and what the ELO difference was between the players or something. It just seems like... It seems like a very it's amusing... A I mean, I, I get it, but it just seems very funny to make that argument. It is funny, but, um, I mean, especially when we're in... Like, we're not at the pro's pro's level right now, so map stats... They don't really come into it as much. It's more going to be the player's mechanics. I mean, of course, they can use the map features to their advantage, and some maps like Battle Royale are inherently advantaged to one one race. But I, I think we should be fine. Yeah. It would be interesting to see how a map like Odd Eye would do in the long term. Now, one thing that may come into Faust's favor here, Cryok is, of course, a very good foreign Terran player, but Faust, much like Tai 2, uh, SCC buddies, the Worker Rush duo, they're pretty unorthodox, so it'll be interesting to see how Faust actually plays this out. Well, it looks like he's gone for a 12 patch. Where where does Zerg take their third, by the way? Because I can't see a third base that can actually be defended by three Lurkers. All the bases that I can see have multiple entrances. I would idea? imagine you would take it uh, so in the 6 o'clock position, because you have your I mean, to get there, you have to run the whole way around the map, and you have the... It is a wide ramp, but you should be able to defend Wait, it. what's 6 o'clock? You mean the mineral only? Ah, that's a mineral only, isn't it? Okay, uh, I, I guess bottom left? You see, and that's so but, open, right? You see what I'm talking about? You see, this is, this is exactly... Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's where the map's turn, but I see it, I see it. How do you how do you take a third base of Zergon? Oh god, oh god, alright, well... Let's see how Faust does it. Let's see if he act. Let's see if Faust even knows what the map looks like. I mean, he could just go for the double gas, not realizing it's super open. To be fair, see, if now, you if you open aggro one, build, it might not matter that much. Yeah, one thing to note about Faust as well is he actually studies the maps that he's going to be playing. So for PATL, he played about twenty games against me on Sim Peaks of Baidu. So oh. I have a feeling he would have at least tried the map, and he has a plan. I would imagine. I mean, he's going. Uh, he's going for his third hatchery in his natural, for one, uh, which is kind of interesting in uh, ZVT. Weird. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess he has a reason for this. I don't understand what it is though. I mean, if I if if he was gonna put it here, why not put it touching the cliff to block a vulture run by? Okay, that that would make some amount of sense to me. But he just put it touching the other hatchery, so it doesn't even block anything. I guess technically, if you saw a vulture coming in, you could build like an Evo or something to block. But I don't know why you wouldn't just put put it against the cliff in the first place. Um, in the meantime, looks like Cryok is just uh, sticking a gas. Yeah, Cryok is going for the one uh, plus one five ranks build. I think we're going to see the engineering bay coming up now, which it is. He'll put two guys in gas until eighty eight gas, and then he'll pull them out and start adding his barracks on well, after his academy. So pretty standard opening from him, and it looks like Faust is just going to head straight up to there getting a second gas, which usually means we'll see some muters, I believe. I'm not au fait on Zerg builds, but I think the earlier second gas does point towards that. Yeah, I mean, guessing muters, uh, you're going to be right the vast majority of the time. Uh, interesting that we have an early sunken. This is it's quite a long map, isn't it? So he's, mo he's morphing the sunken already, but that, that's not necessary. He's got all the vision at the front, right? You could, you could definitely leave that as a creep colony for now. Um, and it looks like, wow, Maybe. is he actually going to get away? Possibly. Uh, th he should be able to catch it with the other link, though. If he pulls that other link back down, he should be able to get it. Uh. I mean, the one thing is, this is a very long map. Oh, there we go. That was actually a nice pick-off by, by Faust there. Wow, he's actually As you going see, it is a, it's a very... Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the, here's the non-standardness coming out of Faust opening straight lurkers. <laughs> 
But then, am I right in saying that when Jadong went one one base lurker yesterday, I think? It was seen yesterday or the day before. So, I mean, the lurkers are on the way up. Do you know what build Jadong did on this map, on the power outage game, against Flash? I can't remember, but all I remember there was early links, and then I think you went mute lists. Yeah, because because this this is exactly the kind of thing I thought Faust might do because of how difficult it is to take a third base on this map. So instead of going the normal muter route, if you just power out Lurker Ling and actually have a standing ground army, then you could potentially just take the 3 o'clock, the closer base, and actually just defend that with your bigger army, rather than trying to be cutesy with mutas. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is definitely not bad. There's also a lot of ridges all over the place. I mean, realistically, to get to Faust base, Kraok is going to have to move along uh, sort of around over at least either some bridges or some cliffs. So, really nice places to set up lurkers to sort of counteract them. There Looks was like Kraok did actually just scan the two bases, so he knows exactly what's going on now. Yeah, he scanned the main, he saw the uh, the then and the Evo Chamber, saw no spire, so he knows what's going on. He's moving out right now. Uh, the Lurkers are a little bit slower than uh, than Muta's coming out, I believe, uh, because, you know, not only do you have to make the Hydras, you have to morph them into Lurkers as well, and, uh, and you know, they have to just crawl out in the middle of the map. So you can see Cryok try just trying to get a bit of space, make sure the Lurkers can't morph too close to his base, uh, make sure he has time to react. He's building his first bunker at the front now, and, you know, you can see no turrets in the main or anything, you know he doesn't need those. Uh, probably gonna start pumping out siege tanks as soon as this factory finishes. And uh, looks like another scouting SCV as well, just to check where uh, where Zerg is going to take a third. Now the thing is, even though a third base is trickier to take on this map, there are two double gas bases uh, in the corners. And if Zerg can get the, actually, it looks like they have ten mineral patches. As, or wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they ten, do. eleven mineral patches each. So these now, are very super, good bases. super duper bases. Now the crazy thing is for Kryok there is he actually sent, as you said, the two scouting SUVs. He checked every other map or every other base on the map just to make sure that Faust hadn't hit a base. That is really nice game uh, gameplay by him. Just checking that he's not missing anything. We see another scan going down on the main, and look at Faust. It looks like he's going to move over and take this bottom left gas, a uh, double gas. Yeah, it looks like. Uh... So we're going to try and get that uh, that super income base. Double bunkers at the front for Cryok. I'd be slightly careful about getting back. Actually, here we go. It looks like Lurker is going to position on the high ground. Is Cryok going to go down the south side? If you think about it, by holding this position on top of this ramp, he covers the bottom left base. Yep. The only fast way to get there is over this high ground. So this is a really nice play by Faust just to get the units there. As long as he keeps vision of the right side, he should be in a really good position. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Uh, we'll have to see. I think the first siege tank is coming out here. Cryok might just wait for the siege tank to actually push uh, push these units back off the ramp. You know, attacking up the ramp into the lurker fire would be suicide. Uh, and plus one carrot base, by the way, already done for Faust. Super fast upgrades on his units. Plus one attack is done as well for the Terran, but that's kind of expected given his fast plus one build. Uh, but very interesting, and double factory actually with Machine Shop, fast double factory from Cryok here in response to the Lurkerling opening. You can see this is definitely an, an adaptation. You definitely do not normally see this fast of a second factory with Machine Shop in particular. You can potentially sometimes see quicker factories just for vultures with mines, but uh, but usually not the not for tanks. Yeah, normally you would see. Uh... You wouldn't really see double tank, but knowing that the opponent opened Lurkers, most of his units are going to be Lurkers. The, the scary thing for Cryok is Cryok's actually been lacking in his bioproduction, so although his supply is a lot higher, where he's been powering up on his tech so much, he's got Radiant coming up with the first vessel, he's actually got a smaller bioforce than he normally would have, so yeah. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference, but every little helps in TVZ. And uh, with the fact that the Spire is coming up as well, and the Queen's Nest, I mean, we could see some Guardians here. Yeah, I mean, you do want to get the Spire anyway for Scourge, for Dropships and uh, and Science Vessels, otherwise you don't have good answers to those. So even if you open Lurker, you definitely want the Spire eventually. Uh, Twitch login ID yeah. from the chat makes a good point also, which is, Kryok is being super passive right now because he's paranoid about stop Lurkers. He doesn't know, because he knows Faust open Lurkers, 
And until the science vessel comes out, you know, he, he, he can't scan everywhere, and he's not Flash. He doesn't have a god sense of where stop lurkers are going to be, especially since I assume he's not very familiar with this map. So he just has to wait outside his base, massing up, until the vessel comes out and can protect him from he's that kind seen of trap. lurkers now, though. He's just done a big scan, which actually looks at every single lurker on top of that, um, on top of that little hill area. So he should know that he should be safe to move around the right, but how is Faust going to react to this? Yeah, it's gonna come down to a big engagement. Now, on the one hand, having the ramp is nice, but on the other hand, he doesn't have any units in position to flank, and he actually can't really flank easily. He'd have to go all the way around the middle. I can see a few Hydras running up the right side here, but uh, but any engagement would have to kind of be head-on against the Terran. And it looks like due to pathing, oh, the Lurker kills itself. It's not good. Also, the crazy thing is here, he's actually given up the position on that little ramp, which leads down to his double gas. So if Cryog notices this, it looks like he's actually moved his camera down there. So I think he's sending a vessel just to check. There's absolutely nothing defending. Well, there's two lurkers there, but that's not really too much to defend. And it's this massive Terran ball that is going to go straight for his third base. Faust is just going to sack this base and go for the counterattack, but he's taking so long to go around the right side. Like, he's still so far away. And here we go. The army's coming in. There's only two lurkers here. This base is definitely going to fall. He took the double gas. He was quite greedy here. But now he's going in for the counter. And what is Kral going to do here? He needs to pay attention to the front. There is the stim. He's got two bunkers to fall back to. Probably needs to pull everything back to the bunker. He's got three siege tanks. I don't he's think this is going to work. Yeah. He's not sieging for some reason. Oh, we do see the scan and we see the siege now. The lurkers have killed all the bio, but he's going to have to pull back. This is not a favorable engagement for Faust to be in. And now, it looks like... Luckily for Faust, he did pull all of his drones away, so he's not going to lose too much by losing this base, but he does need to take another base, and he will take the 5 o'clock, well, 4 o'clock, I guess. Well, I, th I think this is extremely painful, though. So he is retaking the 3, but... You know, losing he's losing that double gas base, he, he's just finished his hive, but now he's back down to two gas, trying to pump out the lurkers and the, the hive tech. Now, to be fair, you know, since he skipped mutas entirely, he did save quite a chunk of gas, but, you know, he's, he's also been rushing his upgrades. He's got plus two carapace already. Actually, does he have melee attack yet? No, he's just got he's plus getting, two carapace. He's getting ultralist now as well, as well as taking that top, uh, top right base as well, so... Okay. He's not in a terrible position, uh, but he is ever so slightly further behind than he'd like to be. He really does need uh, defilers with Swarm, though. And he doesn't have a defiler mound yet, funnily enough. He's going a uh, kind of crazy Zerg, where he's just skipping defilers for now, and going straight into... Well, this could actually be a really good flank if he can pull this off. I don't know if he knows about the army though, though. It looks like he doesn't. He's got a ton of lurkers. There go two irradiates. He needed that flank to come down. But it looks like with this many lurkers, he might still get a lot of damage on the marines. But look at all those little those little blood roses from the lurker explosion. Now the lurkers coming in from the flank. They might actually pick up a lot of these tanks. But look at the minimap. A lot of Terran units coming in from the surround. Yeah, and the lurkers needed to get a little bit closer to the tanks as well. They actually just sat in siege tank fire which isn't good for Faust, and I think Cryop may just be able to break through here. And um, there we go, GG. GG from Faust. All right, looks like game two is going to be on Colosseum. At the top right position as the purple Zerg, we will have Faust. Then in the bottom left position, we do have Cryop, the yellow tower. All right, cross map on Colosseum. Unlike on Ana, it actually uh, it's not too difficult. Take third base on this map. Well, having said that, there's no like nicer ramp uh, for the main, but you can potentially like for as a Zerg, you can take another natural, like an inside natural as your third, because that has a normal ramp leading up to it. Um, uh, sale, I think Faust is going for a sunken rush. <laughs> On a freaking he four sent player out a map. Scout incredibly early. Like, the thing is, this is the only. Well, it's. I think there's only one other map, which I cannot remember the name of, which actually has neutral creep. But look at this. He sent out two drone scouts. He is definitely doing it. But I hope he realizes he's gonna need to get a pull quickly. Usually you would do this off the back of like a four pull. Uh, you can do it off the back of a 9 pool though, so it'll be interesting to see if he puts his, uh, it looks like he will do, put it down on 9. This is... this is... Uh, I, I am not convinced this oh, is no. good. It, it, it's definitely good, especially if Cryok is going to try and wall this. 
Krog is walling it, but he is attacking that neutral sunken. But he's not going to be able to get it quick enough. But, but the but thing without... is, there's no, there's no spawning pool. Exactly. Maybe maybe he's faking it. Although that would be incredibly weird. Is he proxy oh my God, hatching? Wait. Is he doing the lucky new build? <laughs> oh no. This is like next level sunken rushing on this map. Look how look how scared Cryok is of that sunken rush as well. He sent two SCVs primarily with the goal of taking out that neutral neutral sunken there and getting rid of the creep. But I hate to tell you this, Cryok, but there's gonna be more creep outside your base in a second. And it's not in that direction. And there we go, the spawning pool does go up on 30 or on 9 supply still. Wait, on 9 supply? Oh, did he not? Oh, he didn't make an over. Okay, so this is a proxy 9 hatch, 9 pool, Ling sunken all in. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, now I'm a slightly more of a fan of this build. I was like, eh, it's not really the right timing if you're not going 5 pool, as you said. But now it actually works. The, the reason I'm not convinced about the five pull is is if if these if the Terran sees this, even if it's a wall, you can just pull like eight SCVs and just kill the sunken so fast. SCVs are so strong <laughs> in the early game, even against Zerglings. Like I okay, I do so not envy Zerg going five pull against uh, against from, Terran. Yeah, from experience, when you pull SCVs, they don't manage to kill the sunken before the uh, before the Lings kill them. The only way you can hold this is just above the wall on the natural cliff, you can build a bunker, and that just has enough range to attack the uh, sunken. Ah. But as long as the as long as the Zerg keeps reinforcing with lings, then they're, they're not gonna lose. That is but very basically, I've not played against what Faust is doing, but Faust has clearly practiced this for this map. <laughs> this is certainly not something he would just randomly pull out. Oh my god. Presumably this is a ling type wall, so he's gonna need the Sunken to force a lift or something on the barracks, I guess? But he's on the bottom side, which means the Sunken won't actually range the depot. Uh, unless yeah, he build it right on the edge. Forward. I'm still not 100% convinced that this is gonna work, but either way, it's super awesome. And he's facing a one rex expand, which is pretty much as good as he can hope for. Uh, and here we go, now the Link's coming down. Alright. Seven links. Look at him waiting for the creep. This is crazy. He's he's just got that. He's got that. Um, there we go. Oh, the drone God. does go down. I mean, it looks like the SCV did actually scout the creep, so he knows exactly what's going on. Is he going to build a bunker? He needs a bunker like right now, because the second this wall goes down, he is like, yeah. There we go. there we go. He's got a bunker, but I think this sunken on top of the cliff is actually in range of that, what? and he can also do the. I believe that you can do the um, range bug, can't you? Where you attack something in range, then attack something out of range. That, that only works on the diagonal, I thought. Does that really work sideways? There's no way that works horizontally. Is there? That's That would be crazy. It does. Is he not going to Well, I guess we'll this? find out. But look at this, he's just attacking the depot. So either way, Cryoff is going to uh, gonna be supply block here. Although no, he's actually built more depots than he needs. So that's going to help him. But he is going to lose his one and only barracks. This is going to be quite bad. He don't. He hasn't started another barracks yet. Oh! oh my god, there's so many links. The double wall in. Look at that. He builds a depot and a barracks on the top side to block it. Wow, Cryog, the genius. Look at this. Completely shut it down. That was amazing. Did you see that, Kicks? He built a barracks depot wall on the top side. That oh my was god. Really good, but I still think Cryog is in trouble. He's going to lose his marines. And, uh, I mean, it's just Lings versus SCVs right now. I mean, it looks like SCVs are pretty strong. And he won't be able to carry on the creep push, because I don't think the creep goes down the ramp. Dude, I, I but think... But he's still going to contain. I think Cryok is fine. It, but, but Faust is on eight drones and one base. I mean, like, Cryok has a second base mining already. And he's got one Marine just chilling in here. Only two Lings left in the main base. I mean, Faust, I guess, has to go for another run by, maybe into the natural or into the main. And a fire bat is out. He went straight fire bat. I love it. Oh, he might kill oh it. Oh my god, the fire bat might die though. That was actually a really good micro by Faust. <laughs> what a freaking game! What a freaking game! More speed things coming out. He's all in on the links. He's not going past eight drones here. As long as Krauk doesn't die, he'll be fine. And now he's pumping two barracks fire bats. Oh my god, he's gonna have fire bats in both bunkers. You can even put some fire bats on the ramp. Wait, what do you mean both bunkers? Is there a second one? Uh, not both bunkers, I mean, uh, I mean both fire bats. <laughs> Alright, here we go. A medic is out as well. Here come the Zerglings! Actually, There's this so could be pretty links. good. 
Oh my god, he needs to be careful though, they're all, uh, they're all pumping up a lot. Oh, looks like the Lings are going after the SCVs, they're killing a lot of SCVs, look at the Firebat! The Firebat fire Roastage! Wait, where's the second one? It looks like one of the Firebats actually died, and oh my god, wait, Cryhawk is yeah. not microing this very well. He's losing a lot of SCVs, he lost so many, but he's still at 9 in the main, he's still mining at the natural, by the way. The Zerling is now running after the Firebat, another Firebat comes out! I think Cryok held. The situation, <laughs> I don't think he can break the fire bats like this. Oh man. I'm I mean, telling you, Giggs. Cryok's got this. Cryok is in a really good position, but he still needs to break out of the sunken. It's like, he what? still needs to get out of his main. No, he doesn't. He's on two base against the one base Zerg. He can just sit like this for, for 10 minutes and totally fine. Like, Faust isn't making any drones. Eventually, he'll have what? to leave his base, and he's only got fire bats, so... <laughs> what the... He's on two base, look how many SCVs he has! Oh my god. <laughs> this is, this is a Don't pure fire map. yet, Thale. He's still in it as Broodwire, anything this, is possible. This, this game is over, Kicks. it's 48 supply to 20. He's got, these three sunkets on the top are doing absolutely nothing. Faust needs to kill him, or he's gonna lose, and he's not killing him with five fire bats on the field. Oh god. Look at that, look at that roastage! Oh god. Arr, got him! <laughs> Fire bats with medics are so hard for Link to deal with. I look, he's I'm still not counting fast, do yeah? Look at this, he's what? still got a three sunken. <laughs> Wait, he could just run up to the uh, natural, but I don't think he's realized. He doesn't, he doesn't realize. He should have done that, oh. actually. Uh, and now they're gonna be siege tanks, so he's gonna just siege down these sunken, then it'll be fine, right? <laughs> yeah, but the high ground advantage sale, the siege oh tanks will miss. <laughs> It'll take the siege tanks twice as long to kill them. Ah! Oh man. Oh, poor Faust. Poor little Faust. One you day, guys, try, I though. promise you. It's a valiant effort. <laughs> One day we're gonna cast a game where Faust does something crazy and wins. But today is not that day. Oh, he's building the den at the at the proxy. Yeah. He's going one hatch lurkers or one base lurkers. Technically, it's two hatch. I mean, Jade on one with this build, so Wait, you never know. He's mining from the third gas. <laughs> he's mining. Look, he's distance mining the gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, what the hell, Faust? All right. Faust is just the king. I mean, look look how much ground he's covered with creep. I mean, that's pretty much a victory right there. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. Is that, what is that, like a cultural victory? Yeah. The, the poor Lings are trying to bait the tank out into the Sunkens, but the uh, the Marines are actually getting in the way. And here is where the problem starts. If only Sunkens could hit air, <laughs> maybe he'd be able to push away this bunker. It's okay, he can make Hydras now to push it away. There you go, Kix. He's fine. Oh, I wonder man. if this doesn't count as high ground, because the tanks haven't missed once. Uh, I guess this no, doesn't no. count as high ground. No, 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 it does. One of the tank shots landed uh, before the other one. Yeah, you can, you can see uh, when yes, they don't land did, on the yeah. same place, right? But is yeah, it really... when there was one tank, it looked like it was hitting it. But look, he's adding more sunken sail. Oh he's adding more sunken! Are you serious? Dude, Fal Cryo can just walk past this and go kill him. Oh, he's actually going for it. Oh, he's going for the bust. All right, here oh, we go. No. Poor Faust. <laughs> Wait, I is he gonna to lose believe, his den but... before Lurker Tech finishes? I think he is. He needs more sunken sail. More sunkens. <sighs> more sunkens were the answer. Kicks. What's what's in the main base? Are there any lurkers on the map? Oh, there's three lurkers morphing no. on the side. Ooh. It actually Maybe finished. Oh my god. Could you imagine if Krag ran, and then uh, Krag ran across the map, and uh, good old Faust moved his three lurkers in and killed every SUV? Dude, the only I way know. Faust is going to win this game is if Krag transfers all his SCVs to Faust's main, and, and they die to lurkers. Like, that that's the only way that this game would be marginally close. I think Faust would still lose <laughs> if Krag did that. He's a supply block! He does have the, uh, he has the Lurker in his main at least. He did manage to morph one Lurker more. And it looks like Cryok is gonna go for this big death push. I often wonder, I do wonder if Cryok maybe thinks that Faust has another base somewhere. Nah. He's not scanned for one, so he's he's actually been holding onto his scans. 
which is kind of crazy, given the fact he, like, he didn't really know what was going on at all. Oh god, well here comes the counter! Three lurkers, this is it, Kix! This is what you're, is what you're rooting for, there's only like 80 marines in the main base, but it's fine. Here we go! Going for the counter! Oh my god, there's a wrestle there as well. It's alright, we believe in the power of the mighty Faust. Oh my god, the lurkers! He's Even put, oh my god, look at look at that scan dodge. Look at that scan. Oh my god. <laughs> no. GG. <laughs> oh, oh, poor uh, Faust. Unlucky. Unlucky Faust. Good good effort though. Good effort.